What's up? It's Susie from Hey Grill Hey, and today I'm showing you how to cook the perfect steak. If you have never cooked a steak before in your life, simple cooking method, tons of flavor, perfect doneness. Let's do it. I'm cooking four different steaks today because I want to show you that you can cook a very beautiful steak no matter what you pick up from the grocery store. I've got a filet mignon, I've got a sirloin, a ribeye, and a New York strip steak. This beginner steak video is all about the method. The method that we are using is called the reverse sear. It starts with a low temperature rise and then a high temperature finish. I'm cooking this on my charcoal grill using two zone heat, which means I have a lot of the heat of the coals on one side and no heat on the other. But this also works on a propane grill or a pellet grill. You just wanna start with low temperature to begin, high temperature to finish. The reverse sear is actually a riff on what they do in most steak houses, which is cook it high, fast, give it a really hard crusty sear, and then finish it or hold it in an oven to that perfect finished temperature so that it's quick and ready to go when you need it. But the reverse sear, I think, adds a lot more flavor and gives you a lot more control when you're doing it in your own backyard. We're gonna season simply on both sides with my beef seasoning, but you literally can use salt and pepper. That's really all you need for a really flavorful steak. We're just gonna coat all sides. And I will tell you, you probably want a little bit more seasoning than you think that you're going to use, especially if you've never cooked a steak before. One of the biggest beginner mistakes when cooking steak is under seasoning because you think it looks like a lot, but the seasoning's only going on the outside, so you only get a little bit with each bite. So be a little bit more aggressive than you think you need to be. Now that our steaks are seasoned, they're ready to go on the grill. These are going on the indirect heat side of the grill. First, the nice part of this cooking method is that you really don't have to worry too much about, you know, do we dry brine it? Do we bring it up to room temperature? A lot of the good things that happen from using those methods already happen by using the reverse sear. So you can seriously just season and get them on your preheated grill. Seriously? Seriously. Steaks are on the grill, it's phase one. We're gonna let those sit on the indirect heat side of the grill for about 30 to 45 minutes. They're gonna pick up flavor from the grill. They're gonna slowly rise in temperature so we get a perfect pink doneness in the middle. I do wanna flip the steaks about 20 minutes into the cooking process so they're evenly cooked on both sides. Phase two is gonna be moving our steaks over from the indirect heat side of the grill to the high heat side of the grill for a nice crispy, crunchy sear on the outside. That phase takes about two to three minutes per side until we have really nice, crispy, crunchy coated steaks. We're cooking these steaks to medium rare today, which is basically the perfect doneness for most steaks. I know you're gonna have your own preference and we'll talk about that in a second, but for a medium rare steak, we want the internal temperature of the steaks during phase one to hit about 115 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you can cook reverse seared steaks, like I said, on multiple types of grills. You can use multiple types of steaks. You can use simple seasonings or your favorite variety. One thing that I do recommend having is a meat thermometer, an internal instant meat thermometer like this guy will make sure that you know exactly what's happening on the inside of your meat. You don't have to guess. You don't have to do the touch test or the finger test. It will tell you where your meat is cooked to and it's a really valuable tool. Another resource that can be really useful to you is I will link you in the video description to my meat doneness guide. This will help you identify your favorite preference for how you like your meat cooked and the temperatures that you wanna shoot for at home. Whether you like your steaks medium well or super rare, the guide's gonna be a great resource for you. All right, simple cooking process, but the steaks look beautiful. If you want to add on a bonus step, it is not required, but it's so easy and it adds such a big impact, I almost always, will top my steaks immediately after coming off the grill with a couple of pads of butter. I like to do salted butter and just let it melt down over the top of your cooked steaks during the resting phase. I have a recipe on my website for a resting butter that's a compound butter with garlic and herbs and all of that. I feel like that's a little bit like beyond beginner, which is fine, but just kick things off. If you've never had a steak with butter melted over the top, just start here and it will change the way that you eat steaks forever. We're gonna let the butter melt while we let our steaks rest. We want our steaks to rest for about 10 minutes or so. You don't need to rest them very long. We just want 
all of the immediate heat from cooking to settle. We want any carryover cooking that's happening from the high temperature of the grill to finish before we cut into and eat our steaks. Now there's a lot of argument about resting. Does it retain more moisture? Does it make it more tender? All of these things. For me, it's more about having your steak at a really great eating temperature. You don't want to rest it so long that your steaks are cold, but you don't want to skip the rest portion entirely and eat it while it's still in a high temperature cooking phase from the grill. Now all of our steaks are done. They should be our perfect medium rare in the middle. Again, if you want yours cooked to a different doneness, I'm all about it. Cook what you like at home, but I gotta go in for a bite of one of these bad boys. And I can tell you right now, I have a crew of hungry camera people behind each of these cameras that would also love a bite of steak. Perfectly seasoned, smoky from the grill, perfectly cooked in the middle, and two steps. Easiest, most basic steak ever. It's pretty much foolproof. Now you can serve these steakhouse style, individual steaks for each person, or you can cut them into slices and serve them family style. No matter how you serve them, I hope you and your family enjoy them. We'll see you next time.